I'm Julie Salamone in Tampa. A 28 year old woman is killed following a three vehicle crash along Del Mabry Highway, and now her parents are hoping the driver responsible is held accountable. Emily Kutsoliontos is sitting in the back seat of a Volkswagen Jetta with her friends. The vehicle is about to stop at a red light when another driver slams into the back of their car. The 28 year old is killed after a three vehicle crash around 3 30 in the morning on North Del Mabry Highway near Spruce Street in Tampa last month. Just yep. like that. It's, it's the worst news any parent could ever receive. You know, you don't wish that upon anybody. Emily moved to Florida from New York nearly two years ago. Her parents say she wanted a change and loved the Florida sunshine. She worked as a nanny and loved children. Her friends say they'll miss Emily's East Coast attitude, her compassion for others, her loyalty and laughter. She, she was a great, great person, great friend, great daughter, great sister, great aunt, great everything. We met Emily's parents at Tampa International Airport before they returned home to New York. They traveled to Florida to collect their daughter's belongings. Don't text and drive. Don't drink and drive. Don't look down, you know. Just pay attention. Just pay attention and obey the laws. Court records state part of the crash is captured on video from nearby businesses. The report states the driver who caused the crash indicated signs of impairment, including red glassy eyes and the odor of an alcoholic beverage on his breath. It's senseless. You know, it's a it's a weapon. A car is a weapon. And if you abuse it, people get hurt and killed. Court records indicate the suspected driver could face a charge of DUI manslaughter. The Tampa Police Department tells me they're waiting on blood analysis. Reporting in Tampa, Julie Salmon, ABC Action News.